Let's get right to it. There are no entry-level data engineering jobs. A data engineering role is a top-tier role. It's on the same level as a DBA and the machine learning engineer. These are top-shelf jobs that require tons of training outside of academia most of you don't have. Even if you do have the technical skills, no one's going to hire you without a heavy SQL on your resume. For all these roles, SQL is the top skill. Nothing else is close. You have one to three years of SQL on your resume, and you can answer the top 50 interview questions or so, or you can't. Entry level in the real world means one to three years of experience. Here's an entry level job I found. Notice the first requirement. Yep, it's SQL and relational database skills. You don't need to move any further down the list of technical skills if you don't have two to three years of heavy SQL on your resume. You don't have to like what I say or even like me. However, that's not going to change what the real world looks like. Here's another role. It's a junior level data engineering role at some sports group. Seems like that could be fun. What's the top skill requirement? It's SQL Server. Do you see that T SQL there? That's SQL Server. All right, what have we learned? Entry level means one to three years of experience. It doesn't mean zero. Data engineering is not viewed as an entry level role. It's seen as a top tier role like that of the DBA. Your only real option is a data analyst. If you can't get a job as a data analyst with my path, then move down the ladder to a more entry level role like that of a help desk job. I've had many students get a job as a data analyst using my path and following that path to the letter. You can do it, but it's not going to be easy. All of them had bachelor's degrees, and all of them had passed PL 300 and had it on their resume. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day. We'll see you soon.